There is tensions over Finland's NATO bid continues to escalate. The Finnish president, Sauli Ninisto, has initiated a call with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. The holding talks over the continued tensions between the two nations as Finland is getting up to formally announce its bid for a NATO membership. The Finland's president told Vladimir Putin in the telephone conversation that the two presidents had that Finland now considers avoiding tensions to be of primary importance. The two leaders also discussed Russia's military operation in Ukraine and the possibility of achieving a political solution to end the conflict. But Kremlin in a statement has said that Putin has conveyed his stance to the Finnish president regarding the membership bid. And Russian president in a stern warning has said that giving up military neutrality to join the NATO military alliance that is clearly hostile to the Russians will be a big mistake on Finland's part. Adding that the move could of course severely strain the ties between the two nations. The Finland's parliament meanwhile will be holding a special session later in the day to confirm whether Finland will formally proceed with the application process this after the country's ruling Social Democrats backed the NATO proposal earlier. The party had also followed in the footsteps of Prime Minister Sanna Marin, who released a joint statement with President Ninisto on Thursday, saying that Finland must join the military alliance without any further delays. Meanwhile, as things continue to unfold in Finland, Sweden's ruling Social Democrats will today hold a formal meeting to decide its stance on the NATO membership bid. If the Social Democrats support joining, it will have to be cleared by a parliamentary majority in the country before any formal application. Sweden and Finland have been militarily non-aligned for decades, even during the height of the Cold War during the 60s and the 70s. Finland and Sweden had maintained military neutrality. They had decided not to join either of the two military blocs. But what is interesting is that ever since Russia invaded into Ukraine on the 24th of February earlier this year, the public opinion in both countries has witnessed a pretty dramatic shift with a majority of the people in both countries now supporting an immediate membership into the NATO military alliance to bolster their security arrangements. But I think it will happen uh, quite fast. Have to make Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.